Hello everybody, Mustafa's Movie Corner here. Today I am going to be doing a VHS DVD update for February 20th, 2022. For today's update video, in total, I am going to be showing you Fourteen features tapes make that thirteen because of this box set and seven DVDs. Like already then so on. Last Sunday ago I did went to Av Town and I did went to Vi Village in Vaughn Highway 7 and I picked up a total of three features tapes and five DVDs. And on Wednesday, I got five features tapes from eBay, like those five Little Bear features tapes to be exact, which these five were in a lot bundle. And on Friday, I just got another features, but the features box set, which I received on eBay on Friday. And then today, I did went to Av Town again, and I also did went to Valley Village, but it was in Markham instead, and I also picked up a total of three features. No, 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 my bad, wait. Four features tapes, my bad, my apologies, and I picked up two DVDs from there. Already then, so like for about for any further ado, we shall may now begin. I am now going to begin with the first three features tapes, which for the first three, I picked up these three from Valley Village in Vaughn Highway 7 on last Sunday. Yep, last Sunday. Here we go. First up, another copy of the Wiggles You'll Be Wiggling VHS. Now, um, for those of you who may know, did I already have this tape? Yes, I did. But, as y'all may saw by looking at the different cover art, Yep, that's the main reason why I buy another copy of this tape because of the 2002 blue cover art copy. The main copy I still have is the original 2001 red cover art copy, which it happens to be right over there. That's the main one I still have, and this I'll still be keeping. But this one, I just... I just need to pass it up by getting an art copy of it because of the cover art and because of how I saw it, I was like, why not? I may buy it to be exact. Yep, I just decided to buy this because of this cover art, like which looks cool. As I said, I'll be still keeping the red cover art copy. Now I may as well be keeping two of these copies to be exact. And even on the copyright update, it says 2002 on the label. Codge numbers 4 out of 11. I have not checked to see what content it has, and I'm going to have to rewind this tape. Next up. I believe this one, yep, 2004 features of Winnie the Pooh, ABC's Discovering Letters and Words. This is a Disney Learning Adventures tape. Cottage numbers two out of three. For this one, I need to splice it because it was damaged. It was damaged at the beginning when I got it, but as y'all can tell by looking at the film strip, yep, I did splice this tape indeed. And I don't know if y'all could see, but in real life, I could see like there's like, hmm, unless if y'all can barely see like tape. 
right over there. Yep, this is where I need to splice it because, like I said, it was damaged at the beginning, so that's why I need to splice it. And it came with those inserts, which these two were the exactly the same, which, which I checked. Hmm. Yep, it's the same as I checked, which I don't get why it came with two of these, which are exactly the same. So yeah, whenever I get this on VHS, I'm gonna have to put one of those inserts like this into on that tape. Because I really didn't like how the two inserts were exactly the same on one of the VHSs. Like the only one, like to be exact. Last VHS tape, which I picked up from Five Village and Fawn Highway 7 on last Sunday. The Book of Pooh, Fun with Manners, 2002 VHS, I think. Now, um, for those of you who may know, um, as most of y'all came across one of my playlists, um, well, I don't know if y'all may do, but honestly for me, um, I've kind of do used to hate and don't care about the show, like The Book of Pooh, but... Honestly, now I am starting to become liking into this show, which which I am now starting to get back into liking it. So, I just decided to why not get this tape because I am now starting to become liking The Book of Pooh now, which I do like The Book of Pooh right now. So, that's the main reason why I decided to buy this tape. Yep, I am now getting back into like that show. And I think I do remember that my cousin, like, who used to own this tape years ago, which I don't know. I don't know if it's the tape that which my cousin used to have. I don't know. I'll be up to check. Well, I cannot guarantee it because I really don't remember in real life. But, like, it's got this blue lid and the cottage numbers 15 out of 41. I'm also going to have to rewind this tape. Hmm. Hmm. It's rewinded. Sorry, I was just checking on this tape if I need to rewind. Or actually, I think I remembered splicing it, so it's rewinded already. My bad, but this I need to rewind, of course. Now, um... For the next four features tapes I'm going to be showing are going to be the ones I picked up from Vi Village in Markham for today. This next tape this is the 2000 re-release of a Goofy movie. This is a gold classic collection re-release. Cottage numbers 5 out of 38. 5 out of 38. I have not checked on this tape to see if it has the gold classic collection logo at the beginning or not. I may have to pop it in this tape. And again, I'm going to have to rewind this tape. So I can check to see what it has at the, at the, the beginning. I also picked up a sequel as well, an extremely goofy movie from 2000. Cottage numbers, 83 out of 134. Hold on, wait. Hold on. Just let me check. 
Okay, it shouldn't it shouldn't be that too bad, I guess. Yep. Next tape. The 2004 features of Catch the Kid. Let me see what year the movie's from. I think 2004. And yes, I finally got this movie, which I've been looking for this one everywhere. And now I, this, I finally found it at long last. So I will definitely have to give it a watch later someday since I found it. This is still the Canadian tape because of that CVC symbols, just so y'all may know that it's still the Canadian tape. The print date is May. Hmm. Let me see. May 18th, 2004, I guess. May 18th, 2004. That's when I checked on the print date before doing this update video, but I think the print date should be May 18th, 2004. So this is on what I checked before this video. Last one I bought from Valley Village in Markham. I think this... Hmm. 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 I have not checked on Amazon, but I think according to the case or the print date, hmm, I'm guessing like this is the 1997 or the 1998 features of From Most Honored to Most Wanted. However, this is a promotional tape of New Line Home Video, which I don't know if this is my second New Line promotional screener tape. Because I know I do have another one from New Line Screener Tape, which I forgot what it's called. But um, seriously, I don't know if it's the second one or not. But other than that, it's a rare fine score, which I was lucky to come across with this. The print date, November 21st, 1997. November 21st, 1997. Hmm. I think the movie should be from 1997, I think. I don't know. I'll have to look it up on IMDb later. Alrighty then. And now next, the five features, which I'm about to show, are going to be the ones I got from eBay on Wednesday, I think. Wait, this one. Hold on, wait, let me think. Yep, Wednesday. Wednesday's the day I got five VHS tapes from eBay. And these five were in a lot bundle. Like, those five Little Bear tapes to be exact. Alrighty then, so this next one this is the Night's I 8 VHS of Little Bear Family Tales. Four classic tales plus a special interview with Maurice Sandex. For this case, I definitely need to do repairs of scotch tape. It came in bad condition when I got it. As y'all can see, there's tape. Yep, I need to repair it. And now this case looks almost much better to be exact. Sub... Somebody has customized the label like on a tape which it named Boring, I think, like the who used to own this tape, but this tape is now mine. And the print date is the 36th week of Night Side 8. And I'm gonna have to rewind this tape. Also from Night Side 8, parties and picnics. Four classic tales hosted by Face.
I need to repair the top to the case because it was sticking out when I got it. Here's the tape. 31st week of Night's Eye 8 is the print date. Also from Night's Eye 8 again, Good Night Little Bear. For Moonlight Adventures. Here's the tape. The print date is the also the 36th week of Nights I Ate, and I'm gonna have to rewind this tape again. Next, the two bus and bond features of Let's Play Game for playful episodes. Print date, 48 Freak of Two Busted Bond. Feel Better Little Bear, Two Busted Free Features for Feel Better Stories. Now this I say, the main reason why I bought these five Little Bear tapes in the Lot Bundle. It's just because to get this tape, which this tape is now hard to come across nowadays. So... I'm very happy with this tape at last. It's pretty hard to get, as I said. And this was also the last Little Bear feature I've ever made. Print date is the 37th week of 2003. All right, and now for the last of one of the VHS tapes, it's a VHS box set, which the last one I'm gonna be showing is the one I got from eBay on Friday. And here's this VHS box set, which I've been wanting to get for my longest time. And now I own it at long last. This I've been lo looking for anywhere. Rugrats Decaying Diapers, two buzzes in one VHS box set, collector's edition. Oh yes, I've been dying and looking for this box set everywhere. It took me a long time just to get it. And now I own it at long last. The, the little of the downside was um the covering like on the back, like and including on the top. Like and including on the sides for one of the features cases was to be like faded, but as long as if they work, that's all right. At least if I'm happy to own these two tapes, which are in this box set. Huh? There we go. Just trying to get this insert out. And here are the two tapes which are in this box set. First, I'm going to show you is Rugrats Sticky in Diapers, Volume 1. Yeah, this cover of the case was faded, including the little off the top, but as long as they both work, then that's what matters the most. Print date, 30th week of 2000 bond. I don't know if y'all can see, well, even though you can barely see, but in real life, I cannot seem to find it. But I can barely see a little, which it almost turned out to be faded. 
But as I said, in real life, I can barely see, and I know what it is. All right, and now here's volume two, Rugrats favorites. This side right here, and including the little up the top right here was also faded, but like I said, as long as they work, then Print date is also the 30th week of Tabasa Bond, and I'm gonna have to rewind this tape. Same thing for the Volume 1 Futures tape. Like, wait. Yep, this one I'm also gonna have to rewind. And it came with these inserts when I got this box set. So here's the booklet that came with for All Grown Up, which I happen to have it on VHS. Sorry if y'all can't see the pages too well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Even though when you can't see well, I just don't have time to show you all the longest, which I am honestly didn't want to waste that much time. So, sorry if y'all not able to see it that well, but... I just don't have the time, and I want to get this video done, which I didn't want to make this too long for y'all. So I apologize, and I might as well put everything back in this box set. Okay. Alrighty then. Got these tapes back in this box set. Okay then, now like, that's now going to do it for all of those speed chest tapes, and now on to the DVDs, which the first five I'm going to be showing are the ones I bought from Vi Village in Vaughn Highway 7 on last Sunday, and just so y'all may know that I am not done with, or we are not done, I should say, with Rugrats, the King Diapers just yet. This is because I also bought the 2 Buzz with One DVD, which... These two volumes has combined into this one DVD. Like yes, I was happy to come across with this DVD. Um, originally I was gonna get it off of eBay or Amazon, but now not anymore since I was able to find it in a trip store. And I am going to be planning on doing my Rugrats VHS and DVD collection. But as well as before doing it, I am as well have to get um, either one more of the VHS tapes and including one more of the DVDs and including the Blu-ray which I heard about which I'm going to have to pre-order before doing this collection. Which I may have to get three more of those before doing this collection. Or I'll think about it to be exact. But like right now anyways. Next DVD. 2004 Sony Wonder. Yep. 2004 Sony Wonder DVD of VeggieTales. God wants me to forgive them. A lesson in forgiveness. Yep. Another VeggieTales DVD to add in my collection. VeggieTales Classics. Here's the desk. Next is Dance to the Rescue 2005 DVD. Yep, I think it's from 2005. Yep. And I've kind of like how the casing looks like. Look at the cover. See that? Yeah. 
pretty shiny and colorful and nice. Very nice with the cover. And I like it how it looks. So it's pretty nice of the cover. Here's the desk and here's this insert for all of the other Dot Explore features, tapes and DVDs and this book. Next up are the two The Best of Mr. Bean DVDs, which originally I happen to have on VHSs, which I have all of the episodes completed, but I just decided to get them both on DVDs, and I was like, hmm, why not? I'll might as well pick them up, and I decided to pick up picking up these two Mr. Bean DVDs to add in my collection. So, like, anyways, here's this volume one. This is the volume two, which we'll get into in a second. But right now, this volume one, I believe, and this DVD is from 2006. Here's the disc, and here are the episodes, which I had to put them all down, which just so y'all may know what the episodes are that are on this DVD, because it doesn't mention it on the case, which it does says five wackiest, silly, silliest, beanest episodes ever, which it does say that on the description, but it doesn't mention it on the back, and whenever I check this DVD, I put the episodes by making it into the episode guide to make sure what it has on this DVD. So y'all may know for proof that what this DVD has for the episodes. And that's why I put them just so y'all may know. And the bag's blank, so I'm not gonna show it and reveal it to you all. And it came with this booklet thingy when I got it. Hmm. Which I'm going to show y'all quickly, well, even though y'all can see, but, like, even though y'all cannot see it, like, well, but, I'm sorry, but it's just because I wanted to get this video done, and I didn't feel like it, the time no more. So, I apologize again. Now here's volume two, the best of Mr. Bean. This is from 2008. And unlike volume one, like that DVD I just showed, this volume two DVD has episodes on the back, which was kind of interesting. So I didn't bother making a, like a, like a own paper guide for the episodes since because it mentions it on the back. Here's the disc. This was the last DVD I'm showing that it's the one I bought from Fire Village and Vaughn Highway 7 on last Sunday. And now on to the last two DVDs which I'm about to show. The last two I'm going to be showing are the ones I bought from Vaya Village in Markham for today. And here are the last two DVDs in this update. So this next DVD is Toy Story 3 from 2010. Yep, this is from 2010. Number one animated film of the year. I do have the first two movies on VHS and before giving those three movies a watch, including this one, along with the other two movies that are on VHS, I'm currently gonna have to get the fourth movie on Blu-ray before giving them all a watch. Because I've been wanting to watch these movies now, and I almost want to get the fourth movie on Blu-ray, as I said before, before giving all of them a watch. So yeah. But like right now anyways, um, here's the disc, and 
this appears to be look like a hologram. Like, like I don't know if that's the way it is or not, but hmm. And now here's this last DVD in this update, which because of the cover art, I don't know if this is a Walmart exclusive DVD or not. Um, if any of y'all may know, um, let me know down in the comments. But other than that, this is the 2016 DVD pack of Ice Age Collection. Five movies, five films. Well, other than that, I guess I could be very lucky to come across of this at a trip store. But as I said, I don't know if this is a Walmart exclusive or not. Like I said, let me know down in the comments if this is a Walmart exclusive. If it is, then I'm very lucky with it. Or not, then I don't know what I could do with it. But like any other than that, it's got those five of those DVDs, which are Ice Age from 2002, Ice Age The Meltdown from 2006, Dawn of the Dinosaurs from 2009, Conan After Doll Drift from 2012, and Collusion Chorus from 2016. Biggest animated franchise of all time. Here's what the actual casing looks like. Um, the downside was, um, unfortunately for this casing, yep, as you could see, um, when it, like, for this DVD casing, like, it was, like, broken, as y'all could see, which... That part doesn't close very well. It's no good, but this part does. Like, yep. This part didn't, but this one does, which this case was a bit broken. I don't know why that is, but other than that, I'm gonna have to be careful with it since it's no good for the casing. But like right now anyways, um, Here's the disc to Ice Age from 2002, I think. And Ice Age The Meltdown from 2006, widescreen. Hmm. And Ice Age to um, the Dinosaurs from 2009. And Connected All Drip from 2012. And Collusion Course from 2016. And here's what this cutted cover thingy looks like on the inside of the case. From this DVD, um, Ice Age, I think I do used to, hmm, I think I do used to have this DVD, like Ice Age, which I remember renting it from Blockbuster Video in 2011, but that one either got thrown out or destroyed, I think. But this, I got a new copy, which in this DVD pack collection case. Oh wait, wrong way. My apologies. Sorry about that. Alrighty then. And now... Hold on. My apologies for that distraction. Um, now, like what was I was saying, um, that's now going to be doing it for my VHS DVD update done for February 20th, 2022. And I hope you all did enjoy. And I will see you all in the next upload. And happy family day to you all for tomorrow. And yeah. This is now Mustafa's Movie Corner signing out.